Is this a Cooper's hawk or a sharp-shinned hawk? Let's learn all the traits used to identify this hawk. I'm Jeff with the Backyard Birds Channel. This hawk came to my Topeka backyard in March of 2019. It came to eat a euthanized starling that I put out for it. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Furthermore, you can support my channel by joining me on Patreon. As always, thanks for watching. The starling is one that I caught in a trap. Starlings are an invasive species not native to North America and elsewhere. They compete negatively with our native cavity nesting birds. To learn more about why starlings are invasive where they are introduced, follow the link at the top of the video. You can see my tomahawk starling trap in the background. Find a link for it in the video description. Learn how to make your own starling trap by following the link at the top of the video. By trapping and euthanizing them, you provide safety for our native cavity nesting birds. But you can also provide food for various predators. This immature red-shouldered hawk gets nourishment from a starling. I had a red fox take a dead starling probably back to its den. Even burying beetles will use a dead starling for food. Let's get back to the hawk that came for the starling. The most common hawks that catch birds in backyards across North America are the occipiters. Occipiters have long tails and short wings that make them adept at flying through trees in pursuit of their typical prey, songbirds. But the males of either species are much smaller than their female counterpart. In fact, a female sharp-shinned hawk is similar in size to a male Cooper's hawk. Adults of both have blue-gray backs and white breasts with rufous barring. Based on its plumage, this bird is definitely an adult. Let's learn the traits used to identify this hawk. Cooper's hawks have a large, almost rectangular shaped head. sharp -shin hawks have a small, round head. The eye of the Cooper's hawk is positioned toward the front of its head. The eye of the sharp shinned hawk is positioned in the center of its head. The nape color is lighter than the top of the head on a Cooper's hawk, giving it a capped appearance. The nape color of a sharp shinned hawk is the same color as the top of the head. The legs of a Cooper's hawk are thick. The legs of a sharp shinned hawk are thin. The corners of the tail on a Cooper's hawk are usually round. The corners of the tail on a sharp shin hawk are usually square. It is best to look at multiple traits when identifying a bird. Based on these traits, this bird is a Cooper's hawk. It is likely a female because it is much larger than the starling. For even more differences between the species, look for a link in the video description. I hope this video explains how to identify a Cooper's hawk if you think you have a sharp shin hawk, learn to identify it by following the link at the top of the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do you have a question? Leave a comment and I will respond. If you know someone who could learn from this video, share it with them. Hi, it's Jeff. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell to be the first to know about my new videos. Go a step further and join me on Patreon to support my effort to bring you the content that you desire. You can watch more of my videos to learn about nature.